Hello friends, this is Vinit. Welcome to my YouTube channel TechISAL. So today's uh, video is all about how we can set up a spec flow for MS test framework. Okay, so uh, it's it's like just I have an MS test project and I have a spec flow set up in my project and I am uh, just showing you what are the hooks and the attributes that we have in a spec flow and how we can uh, do a sequential execution. So uh, I have the project already set up that I have mentioned earlier and I have the uh, MS test adapter then the spec flow ms test and spec flow ms build generation so uh, in addition to the spec flow ms test you need this spec flow ms build generation to actually run the tests and uh, build the uh, spec flow test and other than that part you need is go to the uh, tools and click on the extension and updates and you have to uh, enable this spec flow for visual studio 2017 then only you will be able to see all the uh, features of the spec flow in your visual studio so once this is enabled just do a build and it will start showing all the tests in the test features and everything will start working so these are some of the prerequisites that you have to do before running the spec flow test so once that is done uh, you have to install the gherkin also so that i have already mentioned so now actually so that uh, so now you will not be seeing this gherkin here because I have already enabled the extension so because of that extension the gherkin is already installed so I have two feature files so one feature file I have a scenario like when I do something and found something scenario 2 is like when I do something and the feature file I have the same but the scenario name is different so it's it, those are simple steps so once after creating the scenario you have to just right click and you have to generate the step definition okay so since i have already created the step definition it say that we have already got all the steps if you have not created then you right click and go to step definition One second i will just show you an example create and something okay, so the, you can see there is it's a, the color is different so you right click on it and generate step definition so it will ask where you want to generate the definition if it is not that then you can just go to the step definition so you it will see give you some skeleton just copy paste this skeleton if you click yes it will be copied to the clipboard and paste it in your step file so that is the easy way the, where you can uh, add a definition to your feature file so uh, this is the feature file and corresponding to that there will be a step definition file so uh, what does it mean like you can see that it's something like when i do something so the code should know what uh, the uh, what the functionality should be when this uh, when i do something is launched so for that we are having the step definition and in that we will be having when i do something uh, uh, run this functionality so you will be wondering how this feature file is uh, connected to the steps.cs uh, steps file. So this binding keyword does that. So what it does is it actually uh, binds the feature file to the step definition file. So actually you can see that when I do something, when I'm not doing anything, when found something. So you will see all this, uh, uh, all this uh, com uh, line of code here also. Like when I do something and found something. And in the feature to file you will be seeing when i am not doing anything so for each uh, scenarios or it can be called as each test uh, each test step there will be a step definition and it is uh, bound by this binding attribute so that's pretty much about how the feature file and step definition is bind now uh, what we will be doing is like uh, so in the uh, MS test there is something called category uh, and in a unit also there is a category which actually uh, groups the test cases so in here we have something called uh, at the value so it's known as tax tags so if you give something called at hook at hook then all this at hook will be grouped under one uh, uh, tag so you can see I have uh, given three at hooks so it will be uh, coming uh, under three at the hook uh, tag 
so that's pretty much about how we can group the test cases so the so this is the uh, setup that we have to do for um, spec flow now i will be talking about hooks so hooks are something they are event binding so which which with the help of it we can do some uh, specific so we can do some uh, extra functions like uh, something should be run before the test something should be run before feature or when the test is completed what should we do so for that we have couple of hooks like uh, before test run so that will be uh, run initially and it will be only run once then we have before feature so it will be run before every feature then we have before scenario after scenario after feature and after test run so in addition to that we have something called before step and after step so this will be run uh, before and after every step and these all are considered as one step so before running this one this uh, before step will come and once it is done this after step will uh, run so i have uh, just added uh, the console dot right line for each of these so that when i run uh, one scenario will be able to see it in the output so that's how the hooks work so i will just run one scenario so it's not going to do anything it is just going to print something in the uh, uh, output so you can say before test uh, run insert feature scenario one when i do something before doing something when i do something then it's done after doing something then we are going to the and found something before doing something found something after doing something and after scenario so so it's like uh, before it does this when i do something then uh, the before step will run then after step will run the same scenario when i do for found something before doing something is ran and then after doing something is ran so so that's pretty much about uh, how the hooks work so you can actually have this hooks Uh, so now I will run uh, two scenarios to see how it works uh, sequentially. So what I will be doing is like uh, I will run scenario 1 and scenario 2. So that is from the same uh, feature file. So you can see it is uh, sequentially one run and the next run after that. So if you go to the output, you will be able to see all the steps. So one of the uh, drawback of spec flow is if there are 10 uh, scenarios in one feature file, all the 10 will be running sequentially only. But if the scenarios are in different feature file, then only it will run parallel. So the parallelism will only work if the scenarios are in different feature file. If it is in the same feature file, it will run only in the sequential mode so now i have run it in the uh, sequential mode so how can we run it in parallelly so for that i have this parallel configuration here with this two piece of uh, code so i have already uh, talked about this in my one of my previous uh, video related to ms test parallel so if you go through that video you will get a more idea on this one so here i am just mentioning as yes, i need two workers so two threads and the execution level is at class level and uh, so now i have already set this up so i am taking one scenario from feature one and one scenario from feature two so that is like scenario one and scenario four and i'm just running it uh, so you can see now everything uh, both will start at the same time so you can see it started at the same time so that's how it's uh, done uh, parallelly so with the help of uh, uh, this uh, execution scope dot class level we can do the parallelism but the only uh, thing you have to keep in mind is the scenario should be in different feature file so so that's pretty much all about uh, the spec flow so we have the spec flow hooks and then we have to uh, consider uh, the step definition and uh, if you want it to be parallel make sure that the scenarios are in two feature files thank you for watching the video have a good day bye